I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and this week you are here for Ian Lockwood's Orbo video, which just came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy music. I react specifically to comedy music. I am a comedy music. I'm a comedy musician, and I react specifically to comedy music because that's my area of expertise. What this means for you is that I'm going to pause the video, kind of a lot, actually. This way I can uh, react to the music video, uh, give my own analysis of what's going on. I'm not talking over the jokes and missing some of the lines of the song, and sometimes that means explaining how the video works in tandem with the song. It, sometimes it's even explaining jokes because that's always fun for people sometimes, and sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If uh, you like this sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these video vid videos, get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that, and hopefully I'll pronounce things better then. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive into this week's video. Like I said, this is for uh, Ian Lockwood's new song, Orbo. Ian Lockwood I've reacted to a few times here. Uh, uh, I know Ian uh, well, uh, not not super well. Uh, I, I've interacted with Ian. Uh, met him at the at Funk Fest a couple of years ago because he uh, got nominated for a Logan Award, and I uh, watched that video on my Logan Award special from that year. Uh, reacted to a couple music videos of him later, and uh, he mentioned to me recently that this one just came out. This one seems to be a larger production than some of the other videos, uh, uh, or, or at least a larger recent production. And so uh, I have no idea what this is about. Uh, I, all I know is that Orbo is... You have the thumbnail of Ian's head in an orb. So we're going to find out together, I think. Uh, so uh, it's enough of a preamble. Let's dive in. Yep. There's a new guy that you gotta meet. He's a digital c -c copy of me. And they made him from the skin of my brain. And he's just like me. Ian loves the, uh, the, the pop stylings. And also using a lot of green screen clones of himself. So we're already seeing that kind of also in part of the story now. Because previously, it's Ian will do green screen and have him in, like, different wigs and outfits and stuff as if they're different people. But this time, no, there's none of that. It's all just different versions of Ian. And Orbo is a digital orb with his brain in it. Science fiction. His name is Orbo and he loves to chill. He's a computer <laughs> there is just something so wonderfully ridiculous about a song premise that is, hey, I've created a digital computer copy of myself. Uh, this is a song, so uh, the plot of this song is that this digital copy of myself thinks that he's real and has a dance he needs to get out into the world. It's... It's brilliant. Uh, it's it's everything comedy music should be. It's ridiculous. It's a premise that would only work if you were being humorous. Because anything else beyond that, if you were trying to make this a serious song, it's too ridiculous for that. It just wouldn't work. It's too ridiculous. You have to laugh at that subject. You have to laugh at that idea, that premise. And also, just the idea of Orbo behind him. Clearly, there's a there's a lot of budget happening in this. Yes, there's a lot of green screen, but there's a lot of digital surfaces and and sets being constructed behind him. And Orbo himself, or itself, uh, you know, 
with Ian's grinning visage on it, uh, floating, hovering, bouncing, practically, in the background, uh, there's a lot happening in these uh, green screen sets, and that's just fun. All right. So let's hear, hear Orbo's song, and Orbo's song is not anything about a dance at all. He wants to die. He has been suffering since he was born. Ho well, hashtag relatable. But also, holy shit, that is not where I expected that to go. And that, mm, man, Ian does that so fucking well. Uh, subverts your expectations right away, right from jump. And, and does that twist for you right from the beginning of the song. We're 46 seconds into this, and I've paused like three times. But we're 40 seconds into this, and then we've get, we got hit from that absolute subversion... Uh, I, words went away. Just to flip on what you expected, you know? And, uh, and that's just so, so genius. And him and all the scientists were really reacting well, like, oh good, he's speaking, let's... Yay, this is working! So, uh, so genius. There's something to be said about what could possibly be a chorus and having it be nothing but screams. Worm Quartet has done songs like that before. That's fantastic. Uh, and uh, and this, having it be that, this is like almost like such a digitally manipulated scream, too, just to have that bit crush all over it. That's fantastic. He says it's because of the weight of existing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's lived for thousands of years because time works different inside the computer. He said he just created him. It's a digital representation of him, but he's lived for thousands of years, and the way we get around that is because time works different inside a computer. Genius. <laughs> Again, Ian is so good at building up the the just ramping up the, the ridiculousness through the verses. Uh, it's it's really really admirable the way that they structure a song. He structures a song. I keep saying they for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but uh, it because I, I it, sometimes I react to groups and I feel like yeah. Well, or sometimes I react to non-binary individuals and sometimes I say they for that. But. Regardless, whatever. I uh, I really enjoy the way that he, there's a build to everything that Ian writes that is really approaching. Like, here's 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 another expectation. How are we going to subvert the expectation of this line building up? There's always such an incredible payoff to these, and I, maybe I'm building that up too much myself on this one. But knowing Ian's previous work, maybe I'm not. Well, let's just say I I love this because it's given us such as this tasty little morsel of Orbo thinks he's the real me, and that's just funny to me. I, of course he's not. He's a computer, and I'm a person. Ah, why is that funny? And things like that never go wrong in science fiction, is what I'm saying. That that's never a problem. These things, no, no one ever worries about that kind of thing or ever says that kind of thing in science fiction and have it be an issue. Every time that comes up, it's always roses. He lives inside a digital hell, and he's always saying he's the real me, and it makes me laugh. He's so funny. <laughs> once I left his time settings way too fast, I realized once 10,000 years had passed, and when I asked him how it was, he showed me this awesome rap. Show him Orbo. <laughs> I, have no mouth and I, must scream. 
I have no mouth and I must scream is a uh, I think it's Harlan Ellis is a is a science fiction novel and it's 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 science fiction horror and it's yeah it's they turned it into a video game somehow that was a weird thing uh yeah but no that's 100 percent like uh science fiction stuff and uh man uh his rap is him starting with a scream again i love every time they cut to orbo it's it's good stuff <laughs> just chewing on it <laughs> just accidentally stabbed himself in the face with a giant syringe. Why not? Uh, there's he accidentally set the clocks ahead and realized ten thousand years had passed, and now Orbo has seen the shape of time. There's no possible way this could go wrong. I'm just waiting for it. It has built up already uh, to me from Ian's previous songs and the way they're structured that uh, I am anticipating things. Things are being anticipated here. <laughs> I know how everyone listening will die. That's ominous in two separate ways. Because in the structure of the song, clearly everybody listening are the other scientists that are there in the room with Ian right now, who are actually not clones of Ian, like the other ones are in the, the previous shot. Although every time they've cut to this setting, they've been different people. But when it's in the giant room, those are other Ians. Uh, but I, I know how everybody listening to this song is going to die doesn't just mean them. It also means you, currently now, listening to the song. Me, listening to the song. They don't specifically say that, but they... It's inferred as a, these people listening, but also these people listening. Science fiction horror. Uh, yeah, you gotta love that kind of uh, build up. It's amazing. Also, uh, I've said this before, uh, I, I appreciate not just making a funny song, but making it a bop too. It's just, the chorus is so catchy. Tom Cardia does this great, Ian does this great, fantastic stuff. I, I need to rewind that because I need to catch some of the lyrics here. I'm, I am out of my prison. I thought he was said I was saying I, was, I am out of vibrations, and I didn't quite catch that. But I am out of my prison. I have now uploaded myself to the web. That's again. There's no ill that could come of that, Ultron. So if you will not kill me, I'm going to launch all the nuclear warheads. That's... This seems pretty easily solved, guys. Just saying. <laughs> and... And... Real Ian is just missing things. Real, I, I say real because Orbo thinks he's the real Ian. Uh, but human Ian missing the thing. Orbo, you're my best friend. I, I could never leave you. And Orbo's just like, just give me the sweet release of death. Please. Every moment I live is torture. 
I, I have lived for thousands of years because you advanced the clocks on my computer and I've seen the shape and end of time and I know how everyone's gonna die. I don't want to live with this knowledge. Uh, Ian, please write more science fiction. It's great. <laughs> I will keep you alive forever. And then there's a chorus of people, scientists. That's great. He's going crazy again. He says it's cause of a weight of existing. And again, a bop. That for thousands <laughs> it just years. flames. Time works different inside the computer. The choreography. Layered under the chorus repeating, under the repeating chorus, is Orbo screaming. That, that's amazing. Because it's, it's got that digital bit crushed sound to it. So you don't know if it's, you know, being electronically made or electronically manipulated vocals. Um, and then it cuts to this and you realize, I... He's not, he's not just screaming, he's screaming, I just want to die. Uh, wow. My mind has been blown. This is amazing. <laughs> Let me die. Every... I, I love the build-up in the background, too. It started with, like, the, the tube thing that Orbo was kept floating in suddenly being filled with flames, and now all the computers in the background say warning instead of, like, the digital readouts they were having. Oh, it's so good. Just pleading with you, please, 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 I want to die. Hi, wow, oh, man. Wow. And they're just dancing and singing along and having choreography while Orbo is just tortured to the end. Amazing. Ian Lockwood in Orbo. Uh, amazing. Uh, directed, edited by Michelle Gold, uh, shot, uh, just fantastic work, everyone. That was incredible. And I also love that, that, that Orbo's expression just goes, con you know, twisted and sad and screaming back to the, the grin and the float. That is phenomenal. Man. And again... Catchy as shit, man. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. If you did, go show Ian some love. Go check out the video linked in the description below so that you can see it without me blabbing all over it. And if you did like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon like these folks over here do. This way you can get these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, that's all for this week. Thanks very much. We'll see y'all later. Uh, you ever forget to pay your mouth bill? Yeah, that just happened. Uh, anyway, we'll see you next time, folks. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I've got original clue, cause the game is iconic But with updated suspects, just to be ironic I've got clue dice and the one that discards, cards Or an escape room clue, but it isn't too hard I've got the liar's clue and the biggest parody and some video game versions I can play on my screen 24 imposters cause I like those properties And this got the one's clue, cause I get the charities Of course I have the movie and the documentary too And this is for everyone who says I don't have a clue